Bones is a Great Dane with grand designs. Yeah. As far as he's concerned, he's king of the castle. As he got bigger, the problem got bigger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's kind of a one-man wrecking crew. At a colossal 12 stone, Bones does what he wants, when he wants. But the biggest problem with Bones is that he constantly demands attention from owner Wendy. Yes, you're closing off, chicken. And he just constantly pause, like, you know, give me attention, give me attention. And it's wreaking havoc with home life. Bones! No! 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 no. no. Oh. It's a bit of a challenge, really, because it's like a freeway relationship now. <laughs> he doesn't like us cuddling because he wants to be in between us. <laughs> Get out! Come on, then. That's it. There you go. That's hey. it. There yeah. we go. You just want your mum. Did you just want your mum? He loves me to a point that that's, that it's not healthy for him. Don't you dare. He literally has spread out his legs and physically moved <laughs> yes. me off the bed. And I'm not yes. the lightest bloke in the world. Get out. He doesn't want you. Get out. <laughs> out. I've never felt so irrelevant in my life. Well, I think I'm at the right house, because I can hear the dog from here. Tell me about your problems then, Wendy. If people come, he will sit with me or between me because he right. wants to protect me. So what about you and your husband then? Yeah, it's the same treatment. Right. Then uh, like if he tries to give me a cuddle, that he gets in between us. Yeah. Uh, anything like that, then yeah, he, uh, he wants his mum. He wants his mum and yeah. he's pushing dad out. Yeah. Oh yeah. So what's dad think to that? He's just used now. <laughs> He's, He's just... used to it. <laughs> yeah. So, right, right. You away. Away. That worked. See, it's I've got a real authority when it comes to <laughs> comes to telling him to do things. Right, that's I mean, you're you're kinda of cuddling him when I'm saying away. Yeah. Yeah. That's not see <laughs> see there's not a gap there. There is now. What happens if you stop? Stroking him now. Do do nothing. Just humour me. And he does that. Now he's getting more insistent. So so hold it. Yeah, no, don't, don't, don't love him. Let's see what happens. Yeah. He just ups the ante, doesn't he? But don't love him. I'm most good of him loving me. <laughs> I think the thing about the way PZ starts off with all good intentions, but. Actually, he doesn't give you the impression he really means it. Meanwhile, Wendy just caves in and gives the dog love all the time at the wrong moment. It's a big problem when you look at the size of that dog, and it's affecting their life. Master dog trainer Graham Hall's in the Midlands, helping Dan and Camilla with their French bulldog, Bruce. Calm down, baby. Whose attention-seeking screams... <laughs> are putting their plans to start a family on hold. Bruce, Bruce, calm, please calm down. But Graham's got a plan to fix this Frenchie's ear-splitting shrieks. It's important that we get the signals right with Bruce. We're simply going to say, no, quiet, but at the same time, if he backs down, then we're going to praise him. And to help snap Bruce out of a screaming stupor, a simple distraction technique. We're going to do a couple of things. One is we're going to use the lead, a quick flick, you know, at the same time we're going to say no and quiet. So no, quiet, yeah? And then when he calms down, that's when you need to go, oh, good boy, that's nice. Then you can give him a cuddle. But will Graham's theory really keep Bruce quiet when his mum leaves? Now what's he going to do? At the first hint of a howl, a quick flick on the lead and a command. No. Quiet. And as soon as Bruce simmers down, praise. Good boy. That's fine. Now, look at that. 
He's actually turned around for the first time and turned his back on the door where Mum is. Good boy. I bet that's a first. Oh, he's really he's sitting down. Yeah, he's brilliant. So now he's quiet. Come here, lad. Good boy. That's Good boy. better. Clever boy. It's easy for Graham to resist comforting Bruce when he cries wolf, but will the couple be able to break their molly-coddling ways when he screams for their attention? First to be tested is Dan. Right. When you're ready, off you go. OK. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. No. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet. Good boy. So he just had a little whine there. You said quiet, and he just went, OK, boss. Are you surprised? I am, actually, yeah. I was expecting him to, to have a good squeal then. Dan may have held his nerve, but will Camilla have the same resolve, or will she cave in to Bruce's cries? Quiet. Bruce. Quiet. That's it. Quiet. And though Bruce reaches a crescendo... No, quiet. Camilla doesn't succumb to his screams. Quiet. Good boy. Great. Well, we're getting there. Christmas Eve last year, my children turned up with Rocco in a box at eight weeks old. I wasn't expecting it. I didn't really want a puppy. And I certainly wasn't prepared for Rocco. Yeah, he's a really naughty boy. He feeds things. He likes 100% attention from me and demands that all of the time. I've had other dogs and, and I've never had a dog that's made life as difficult as Rocco has. Karen's day job is working with disadvantaged children. But it's at home with Cocker Spaniel Rocco that's really trying. Rocco, he's like the sponge. As it's a constant game. No, no, Rocco. Of stop thief. No, no. He has eaten two socks before and ripped up a couple of items of clothing. Just makes life difficult because the simple things in life are hard to do. Rocco, no. There have been times where I've been in tears in the evening, just thinking that I really can't cope with this dog anymore. Karen, hi, how are you? Hi. And Thanks. Rocco come leaves on. Graham in oh, no on. doubt... Rocco, come on. ..about just how impish he can be. Come on, then. Come on, you're a live wire, aren't you? Come on, in. You all right? Once inside, this little artful dodger... Good Lord. ..wastes no time leaving him lighter. He's got my glasses cloth. Hang on. Whoa. Come on. Whoa. Rocco. Oh. Rocco. There you go. Come here. Where's he...? Uh. Is this what he normally does? He does that with everything. Come here. Come on. <laughs> I have the glasses cloth. Ouch! Oi. Do you mind? Yeah, there's no point in saying, can you, can you tell me about your problem, cos I've seen it. Graham's goal is to put a complete stop to Rocco's relentless thieving, making life safer for him and anyone who visits. He believes the way forward is to teach him a simple back-off command. So, the training for the food is pretty simple, really. What we're trying to get across to him is human food, no, step away from the food, right? Mm -hmm. And if you do that, and you're a good boy, then, and only then, you can have a dog treat. Yeah. But the timing is critical. Graham may be confident he can curtail this canine crook, but how will he fare with one of Rocco's faves? Chicken. I'm going to do something you would never ever do. OK. Just because I can. I OK. Think. Or not, we'll find out, won't we? OK. Back off. Good boy. Good. Now, I've got dog treats in my pocket. Good boy. If you stay put, you can have one of them. Now, I'm walking away from the chicken. He could get there before me. Back off. So, he goes towards me, chicken. Back off. Good boy. He takes a step back, he gets a treat. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, ah, back off. Good boy. Back off. But the message is the same, isn't it? It's like, that's ours, even yeah. if it is weirdly on the floor. Yeah. Right? 
Sorry, I'm just in disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep looking at the chicken, thinking, how, how is that still on the plate? How is that on the floor in front of him? Good boy. Next, Graham is heading south to Hereford, where six months ago, 28-year-old Elise moved into her new home and wanted someone to keep her company. That someone is Chinese crested Norman. He is so loving. Give me a kiss. Good boy. And he just gets so excited to see me. I love Norman to bits. This pair are inseparable. Me and Norman have matching outfits and matching accessories. We like to match most days. <laughs> Whilst this couple have settled in together, Elise wants more than just Norman in her life. I'd really love to be able to find somebody. There's just one problem. It's Mark, you know it's Mark. <laughs> Norman won't let any man anywhere near his woman. No. I can't date, I can't have any kind of love life whatsoever. Norman puts a stop to everything. Norman, come on, that's enough now. This will go on until they've gone. It's just made life really, really hard work to be fair. And Elise's possessive little man has a surefire way to see off any potential suitors. I recently went on a date. Norman pounced and bit him through his jeans oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and cut off his leg. He hasn't been back, so Norman definitely sorted that one out for me. Hello. Oh, blimey. He's not happy, is he? No. Nice to meet you. Blimey, he's aggressive for a little dog, isn't he? Yeah, he's got a good bark, isn't he? Then again, he might be small, but boy, I mean, I counted six times there. He, he would have bitten me, you know, through my jeans if it wasn't for that muzzle. Oh. Normally, I'm saying, tell me about the problem. I don't think you need to tell me very much at all, really. I can see it. He's like, this bloke will go for soon if I keep barking, because that's what he's out. He never stops. <laughs> yeah, right. Norman's refusing to back down, but Elise has a trick to entice him. Ah, right. So what happens here, then? <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Come on. There you go. So he's barking his head off, so to get him to stop, you pick him up, give him a treat. Bribe him, yeah. Yeah, bribe him, or reward him, perhaps. I mean, the interesting thing is, you see him now like that, could look like a little baby in your arms. He's a sweet thing, isn't he? Mm. So what's he like when people aren't around? He is attached to me the whole time. He's right. so needy. Yeah, needy's a word that I sort of associate with Chinese crests. Oh, really? They, they like to make that bond with you. He's the sort of dog that's going to be very attached to her anyway. The breeder liked that, but she's really supercharged that. You were using a treat before to try and to get him to stop barking. You're rewarding the wrong behaviour. Oh. And this hey. is the first Hello. thing Graham needs to reprogram. But will he be able to gain Norm's trust? Good boy. <laughs> no. But at the first sign of friendly behaviour... What's this thing? Good. ..he gets rewarded. Good boy. If he looks at me, he gets a little treat. He's beginning to trust me. Well, this is progress. <laughs>